Hello and welcome to another Haas Tip of the Day. Right now we're going to talk all about using an angled head on your Haas mill to drill and tap. Now this is a fun topic. We use right angled heads to reach features that can't be machined in any other way. And we also use them to save on operations. Like any part, make sure that you're using the right tool for the job. Now sometimes our parts are too large for a rotary product and we turn to right angled heads. Now for more information on can cycles in general, check out our G98, G99 video. In that video we talk all about clearance planes and starting positions and those kind of things. Watch that video, good information. Now typically when I want to drill a hole on a mill, I'm going to position along the X and Y axis and drill to a Z depth. Now, when I do that, I'm actually using the G17 plane. When we turn our machine on in the morning, it starts up in G17. Position the X and Y, drill to a Z depth. Now, if we're using a right angled head, it's because we want to drill at some funny angle. We don't want to be using our G17 plane. If we use a G18 plane, this means that we're going to be positioning ourselves along the X and the Z axis and drilling to a Y depth. If we want to drill along the X axis, we're going to use the G19 plane. We're going to position ourselves along the Y and the Z axis and drill to an X depth. Remember that G17, G18, and G19 plane selections are modal. So when we're done using them for a drilling cycle, we need to change things back to a G17 for the rest of our program. Okay, so that was a brief overview of our G17, G18, and G19 plane selections and how they affect our drilling and tapping can cycles. Now, our plane selection also affects which way arcs will be machined. Now, that's a topic for another video. Right now, I'm going to clear the whiteboard. We're going to give you an example of how to drill and tap along the x-axis using a G19. Now, this program is going to drill along the x-axis, moving to our left. Now, we've got proof programs in our bonus material, so be sure to stick around to the end of the video. Click on today's bonus content. We've got programs that, that drill and tap in every direction, just for you. Okay, here's a simplified version of our program. Right off the bat, we notice that I'm using an M4 and not an M3 to start my spindle. This is why almost all right-angled heads have gear reversal. When we command an M3 in our program, the spindle is going to go in the opposite direction we think. Watch. I've, I've got a piece of tape here, and I'm going to attach it to our drill. And now I'm going to start the spindle going 50 RPMs in the clockwise direction. Now you can see that my spindle is going clockwise, while my drill is going counterclockwise. Now for drilling and tapping operations, make sure you understand and know the angled head that you're working with. In almost all cases, we've got to go backwards. So for a right hand tap, we want to use a G74 instead of a G84. And for a drill, we need to use an M4 instead of an M3. Typically, when we're drilling a hole, we position our drill just above the part, let's say to Z.1. And that ends up being our starting position or our clearance plane. For more information, check out the G98, G99 video. Now, on this part, it's not a typical drilling cycle. We're coming in with a right angled tool. So we're going to bring our tool just above the part to X.1. And that X.1 becomes our starting position, our clearance plane. From there, we may move up and down to our Y, Z location. We're going to move to Y0, Z minus 0.5. And from there, we're going to drill to a depth of X minus 0.5. Again, the control knows that our depth is going to be along our x-axis because we're using a G19. Now, our G81 is a modal can cycle, which means it's going to drill at every YZ location that it comes to. So, after it drills at Y0, we move to Y1.0, and it's going to drill another hole to X minus 0.5. When the can cycle is done, we cancel it with a G80, G0 like normal, and then we move the tool to a safe position. In this case, X1.0. To finish up, we put the machine back into G17 so we can go back to normal milling. B 
because we're using a right angled head from the right side, all of our clearance plane and safety planes are going to be in the X positive direction. If we were cutting from the left side of the part, all of our clearance planes would be in the X minus direction. Now on the board, I used a simple G81 drilling cycle to keep things easy. On my real part, I used a G83 with a Q peck value. You can use that cycle as well with your right angled head. Well, we drilled the hole, now it's time to tap it. Now remember, we're on a next generation control. On a next gen control, all we've got to do is change that G81 to a G84. And now we're tapping, that's it. We also need to change our feed rates, right? Because we're using a tap and our RPM. I'm gonna go a, a very wimpy 500 RPMs at 25 inches a minute. Now wait a second, here's a problem. I used a G84 to tap. Our right angled head reverses the direction of my spindle, so I can't use a G84. We should be using a G74. Okay, that looks better. Let's go ahead and run this program and see how it does. Okay, to recap, if we're gonna program a typical hole, we're gonna use the G17 plane. We're gonna position along the X and Y axis and drill along the Z axis. If we wanna drill along the Y axis, we're gonna use the G18 plane. We're gonna position our tool along the X and Z axis and drill along the Y axis. To drill and tap along the X axis, we're gonna use the G19 plane. We're gonna position our tool in the Y and the Z axis and drill to an X depth. Now, how does the control know which direction I'm coming from? Well, it doesn't really care. If I start from a, a positive X value and move towards a, a minus X value, it knows which direction I'm moving from. It knows that I'm drilling or tapping to the left. If I start from a X minus direction and move towards an X plus direction, it knows that I'm drilling or tapping to the right and it's gonna adjust my clearance planes accordingly. What about